Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own LUT and also how to use it in the Spark ER project. So one of my uh, followers asked for this video, so I hope this video is going to help her and other users. So there is two types of Lightroom presets. Uh, there is a desktop ones and mobile. So uh, I just googled Lightroom preset and found some on the web, web for free and just download them. So you will have to do yourself uh, this, this step. And now I will import our mobile preset. So my mobile preset in downloads and I go to mobile and I'm clicking this on the uh, natural uh, uh, pop. And then uh, this type of file is DNG and you click import and now I look at all photos and now this Lightroom preset is imported. Also we will need a neutral lot, neutral lot of uh, PNG file. So there is a Telegram uh, channel where I send different assets. You can use this Telegram channel and there is going to be this neutral lot. And also there is a Telegram group where you can ask questions and link to those two channel and group is going to be in description to this video. Okay, so now we have our um, preset. So in order to copy this settings to the natural lot, I'm clicking this presets and I'm going to develop develop a settings and I click copy settings and you will need to uncheck white balance exposure clarity, dehaze, sharpening, all local adjustments, all le lens correction, all transform, all effects, all spot removal or crop. The reason why you need to do it because uh, Lightroom presets are used for the pictures and we will need to use this Lightroom preset for the video. Uh, so this properties is not needed for us er, and made might mess up the filter itself. So let's copy this, this uh, Lightroom preset settings. And now I already have my neutral lot uh, imported. So I'm clicking on this neutral lot and then I'm going to develop settings and I'm just clicking paste settings. And after that, I click on this lot again and I click export and I click again export. And then I should make sure that this uh, lot has PNG format and then I'm exporting and then now this uh, folder appeared on my desktop and now I have this neutral lot with the settings from the preset that I used. Okay, so that's if you if you download the mobile preset. What if you download the desktop preset? So if you download the desktop preset, you will probably need to go Lightroom, uh, add it to the Lightroom. So you'll need to go to Lightroom, Preference, show Lightroom develop preference, settings, user presets. And here, if you uh, gonna be paying attention, you will see that the files are two, two formats of the files. It's XMP file for the um, desktop preset and also all, um, all LR template. So those two types of files are used for the mobile presets. So after you copy them, I'm going to close these windows. They're going to appear like in this uh, default uh, in this presets uh, folder. This is, I believe, default ones. And also we have this natural pop or Christmas magic or swimming suits. So you after you just click on that preset that you want, you just again, you are doing uh, clicking this preset export, export and then export again. It's asking me to change the name. I, I say yes, use unique, unique names. And the second percent percent appeared in our United export file. Okay, so let's close this. But what if you have like a filter that you like and that filter uses preset, but you want to create similar one, then you can go to Photoshop and you, uh, you will need to drag this uh, neutral lot and then you will need to do layer, new, new layer. And then on that new layer, you will put like picture that you want. So I'm going to put yes. 
So what you can do, you can take a picture with that lot and you can also take a picture without that lot. And now you will be able to try the picture without that lot, uh, I mean that filter, uh, try to make as the picture that with that filter. And you can do it by going to the layer, new adjustment layer, and you can choose like different settings, for example, color and balance. And here you can adjust the properties, for example, make this like more warm color. And if you see, if I'm going to make this color balance invisible, that's how original picture is. And now that's how with this filter. And then after you're done with all the settings, like you will need to turn off this reference picture and just export this file, um, this file as usual. But also like you will, you will be able to use not just color ba balance. You can use, uh, like so many different, um, like for example, uh, hue, hue and saturation. So you can play with that. So basically you will need to play around a lot to find out, to, to make the, um, your original picture without the filter similar to the one that you want to achieve. Okay. So after you finish with all your settings, you're again doing file, export, quick export as PNG, PNG and like neutral rat, lot ready, for example, like this. Okay, save. So after you have your neutral lots ready, then you will need to go to the Spark ER and create new project, blank project. And you will need to drag the, the skin smoothing patch. So this skin smoothing patch is also in this uh, Spark ER um, channel. So you can download. I have it on my desktop. So usually I like you should have by patch editor. I usually like to drag this uh, patch right away so I can know what I really need. So as we see, of course, since it's we really adding the lot, we will need the lot. So let's use the lot that one lot that we created and let's use this one. And it's important to put no compression and filtering none. So let's drag this slot. And when we're ready, we're going to connect to this out, uh, outcome. And now let's add and create rectangle. And click here, plus material. And I'm going to make fill width, fill height. This material, I will click flat. Okay. So also I'm going to add face mesh. And I'm going to click plus here, create new material. And also it's going to be flat. So now I see I would need face tracker texture. I'm going with this face tracker and I'm going to click uh, texture extraction and I'm dragging it out. Also, I will need camera texture. I'm clicking on camera and plus and dragging it out. So camera texture, face tracker texture and LUT. Now I see camera color and face color. So for the, uh, for the camera color, I will have to go to the camera material and click on this texture and combine. And for the, uh, for the face color texture, so we should create two face meshes. One face mesh is going to be retouch. And another face mesh, so this one is retouching. 
reattach. And another face mesh is going to be for make this retouch visible. So I will call it face lot. And I'm clicking here on texture. Okay, so let me switch to myself. Now this is how it looks. But there is a problem with our uh, mouth and eyes a little bit and with our with our uh, chin. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the uh, face tracker texture and I'm gonna enable eyes and mouth, which will help to solve the problem with the eyes and mouth. And also, in order to solve the problem with the chin, we will need to use the face um, mesh mask. And this face mesh mask is like basically you go to Spark AR face. Assets, and click download, no, not download the face, Ref here, reference assets, and then we go to textures, and we have our face mesh mask that smooths the lines here so here is our face slot and we're going to alpha I'm using face mesh which is takes away that problem so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and have a good day bye bye